So let's go in and take a look at how we install and set up the active desktop calendar from Exma Computers. So let's take a look. So now we finished downloading the files needed to install the active desktop calendar and we should find that under our download folder. So if you go down to the start button, we go over here under documents. Up under documents, we'll see here when we get our Explorer up, not the Internet Explorer, but Microsoft Explorer up here. Then you can see here I have a folder called Downloads. And when I click on that, you will see here that here is the files I just downloaded. The ADC is the 32-bit and the ADC 64-bit is the 64-bit. In my case here, mine is a 32-bit computer. So I will click on the ADC exit here to get started. So I'll click twice. And here it says security warning, blah, blah, blah. Yes, let's run it. And of course, when it is a Windows 7 or 8, then it comes up with the screen, the user account control, blah, blah, blah. This is an unknown download from the internet and I'll overwrite the security and say, yes, please install. The reason I'm bringing in that little window over from the other screen is that because I have two monitors, the pop-up screens are coming up on the other monitors. So here we can see that it says here, set up active desktop calendar and yeah, do that. And if you are Danish or Spanish and so on, all this text should be in your language because my operation system is an English-based version. Then it comes up in English. So here, set up active desktop calendar and I say next. Then, of course, you can read the whole thing about license agreements and so on. I always say accept and say next. Then I will leave it in the default folder, really. There is no reason why moving it. So I'll just say next. Then it will come and tell you, are uh, you sure that you want to install and create a folder here? And you will say yes. And then here it says, select start menu folder. Do you want a folder called Active Desktop Calendar? Yes. And then we should be ready to install it. So we will say install. And now the program will be installed on our machine. And we just have to wait now because files has to be copied in. It has to be registered in the registry. So we will wait until it is finished here. And then we can go further in regards to the setup. Here it comes and say the complete of the Active Desktop Calendar Setup Wizard. Yeah. So we say finish. And now the program is installed on our computer. So now we can minimize. I always minimize the explore when I'm finished here. And now we go up here and say active desktop calendar because many times it gets put in here and it gets put in the all programs where you can see that in here we have the folder called active desktop calendar and in here we could start it from here. But many times it just installs it so that when you click on start you can see it already here. Many times what I do is that I drag it from here down to my quick lunch bar here and plan the there if there's something I will use frequently. So let me just drag it down and place it in here. So let go, pin it there. And now I will start it up. So when it starts up, you will see a screen come up with the name on the program and then it comes up with the active desktop calendar here. In my case, there came more windows up, but like I said, I have multiple monitors. So some of the windows are coming up on the other monitor and that monitor is not recorded. But here you can see, here I have the calendar, here I have the desktop calendar. That was the installation of active desktop calendar. So in our next video, we will look at registration of the active desktop calendar. So I'll see you then. Thank you.